Hello everyone! Welcome to our Daily Mana. Have you ever experienced a situation in your life where you did something that's very consistent, especially with your relationship with the Lord? But at the end of that process, still you were not able to get that prayer answered. Or maybe that thing that you were asking from God still was not answered or given to you. A similar situation happened in the book of Haggai, where the Israelites were you know, rebuilding the temple that God wanted them to rebuild. But still, their heart was not actually in line with what the Lord wanted. So today, if you have your Bibles with you, kindly open it with me in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verses 14 to 19. The word of the Lord says, Then Haggai said, So it is with this people and this nation in my sight, declares the Lord. Whatever they do and whatever they offer, there is defiled. Now give careful thought to this from this day on, consider how things were before one stone was laid on another in the Lord's temple. When anyone came to a heap of twenty measures, there were only ten. When anyone went to a wine vat to draw fifty measures, there were only twenty. I struck all the work of your hands with blight, maldew, and hail. Yet you did not return to me, declares the Lord. From this day on, from this twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, give careful thought to the day when the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. Give careful thought. Is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now, the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. From this day on, I will bless you. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Now, this was actually the time where the Israelites were tasked to rebuild the temple in their land. So during this time, they, there were actually a lot of distractions. You know, there were actually things that um, discouraged them throughout that process. But still, to the prophet Haggai, God wanted the Israelites to know that they have to start rebuilding the temple because that was actually the place of worship where God is going to reside. And during this process, though the Israelites were very consistent, devoted, diligent in doing that, still something was lacking and missing in what they're doing. And one thing that we can understand here is that their hearts were not actually in line with what the Lord wanted. You see, if there is one thing that God is very much concerned in our lives, especially in worship, is that God is not just looking for outward obedience. During this time of the Israelites when they were rebuilding the temple, you know, they were actually collecting those furnitures which were considered holy. But when we look at this situation, all of these holy items will not make them holy. But one thing here is for sure, because God's people were only obeying externally, even the rebuilding of the temple was unclean, because God wanted their hearts to be right with them. And so God told them to turn to Him. You know, there were a lot of things that God sent to them so that they would turn to God. But still, they did not turn. It says in Haggai 2 verse 17, I struck, you all the pro I, I struck you and all the products of your toil with blight and with maldew and with hail, yet you did not turn to me, declares the Lord. And as we look into our lives, when we obey Him, God is actually looking at our hearts, not just our actions. The way we see God is something that it should be, you know, as parents would discipline us, and that discipline should actually be a way for us to be molded in how God and what God would want us to be in the future. But you see, one thing that I really like about this passage is that though there were a lot of things that has happened, though the Israelites were so diligent, they were worshiping God, but still their, rights, uh, their hearts were not correct and in line with the Lord. I like how God resolved this situation. You see, in Haggai 2 verse 18 to 19, the word of the Lord says, Consider from this day onward, from the 24th day of the ninth month, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider, is a seed yet in the barn? Indeed, the vine, the fig tree, and the pomegranate, and the olive tree have yielded nothing. But from this day on, I will bless you. One thing that I really like about this passage is that, the, is that though there were things that was unclear for the Israelites, Still, God promised His blessing to be upon His people. And you see, the way I look at it, this was actually an assurance that though things were unsure for them, you know, that their hearts were not right with the Lord, God sent them a lot of challenges, trials, and troubles. Still, in the end, 
God was able to make a promise that He will bless His people. You see, brothers and sisters in Christ, in our lives, there are things that we are quite unsure of. There are things that we consider as trials, you know, temptations, problems that we go through. But one thing that we can be sure is that the presence of God is with us. And just like the Israelites, where God promised that they are going to, that He is going to bless these people, regardless of the situation that they are in, I believe that the same blessing also God declares in our life. So whatever you are going through today, it is my prayer that you're, you will continually check your heart, and I hope and pray that your heart will be aligned with what God wanted you to be or to be in in your life. And above everything else, that your heart will beat what is in the heart of God every day and every moment of our lives. Allow me to pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for granting us this time. It is my prayer, Lord, that all the more you will remind us that it is only through your power, through your will, that we can do the things, Lord, that you have tasked us to do. Help us, Lord God, that above everything else, Lord, as we do the ministry, as we worship you, Lord, allow our hearts to be sensitive to your movement, to your calling in our life. Do not allow us, Lord, to just perform, but allow us, Lord, to be sensitive in your working in our lives, in our workplace, in the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in His movement. So, Lord, it is my prayer that you bless my brothers and sisters. Remind them, Father God, that though there are troubles that are present, that though there are things, Lord, going through in our life, still you are able to bless us, Lord, because that is your promise. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. Thank you.